Hi guys, welcome back to another tutorial for filmophone.cz. This quick tip tutorial will show you how to use real wiggle After Effects uh, project file which can be downloaded using the link below this video. If you are watching this on Vimeo, you should probably follow the link to the official site. Okay, so let's say you've downloaded already the project files and it's placed somewhere on your hard drive and let's say that this is one of your project, uh, can be whatever, and I just right click import file, I will find my real wiggle project. So it imports this folder, yes, and it consists of these nulls and one composition. Let's double click on it and you can see these are actually some it's some kind of presets and all of them all of them they are keyframed and these uh, these keyframes are based on tracking of real footage. So I had some footage shot on 28 millimeter lens uh, 80, 240, uh, these, uh, these keyframes, these nulls, these three, they are based on tracking of uh, some old films, wiggling, uh, 8mm, 16mm, 35 this uh, is just mobile phone. Well, actually, let's have a look how it works, it's quite simple. You just you just uh, choose one of them or choose all of them. It's up to you. Hit Control C to copy or edit copy. Close the composition and Control V paste or edit paste. Yeah. Okay. And now here we are. These are the nulls. We don't need to see them. And now you can choose just what you want you want you you want to use di data from this lens no problem here we are and we have nice natural wiggling because it's taken from real footage uh, or you just want a 35 millimeter film wiggle Yeah, an eight millimeter, and we can spend a lot of time watching the differences. And I'm pretty sure you you will like it. It's quite easy to use, and uh, the wiggle looks much more better than just expression. Oh uh, well, one more thing I I want to tell you. Uh, as you can see, sometimes uh, I will leave just uh, this one for example you can see sometimes the keyframes ends in the middle of the composition and you probably uh, need more of them of the keyframes so this is a quick tip what you can do how to solve this problem just select all of them except the last one so I will deselect last one oh sorry and then control C copy them one frame control V and uh, I know this uh, strange uh, distortion between those frames is it's made by this this composition is 24 frames per second, but uh, the nulls were tracked uh, 25 frames per second. But actually, it really does not matter. So don't don't worry about this. So we have copied the keyframes. Just right click on it, and keyframe assistant, time reverse keyframes, and this makes our 
this makes actually the loop. It's not it's not visible in here, but when I will play. By the back you can see it's not visible yeah. because it goes from here to here and then go back. So you can repeat the steps, uh, these steps, uh, how many times you like, and but probably your shots will be shorter than 30 seconds. Okay, so that's all guys. Hope you will like this and you will find this uh, uh, this way how to use the wiggle uh, useful and stay tuned for another tutorial. Hopefully some is coming soon.